What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you guys just saw, we are removing the wheels off of my girlfriend's Scion TC. Now you may already know by the title of this video, we're taking my wheels and putting it on her car. Reason for it, one, we're getting new wheels for the G within the next week. Two, we're also gonna be working finally on her car super stoked for it so uh kind of want to try something new i think my wheels will look really good on her car and if she decides that she likes it we're gonna keep them and then uh soon as well probably within the next month uh we're gonna be getting some coilovers for this and dropping it down this thing will eventually be bagged but for now we're gonna do coilovers and um just try to get this thing going so i'm super stoked super excited for both cars guys the last time you will see these wheels on the G and then we're gonna be putting those on there which are 19 inch wheels and these are 18s so I'm, I'm excited to be honest not the biggest fan of black wheels all black to be honest but who knows maybe if they look really good and the fitments on point maybe we'll just repaint them like silver or something but anyways guys let's get this bad boy aired up get those wheels off get them thrown on oh dude it needs to settle in it's it's pretty raised up and positive cambered out but yo this looks so good and it's flush once this thing's lowered it it pops out to about the fender's like to about there looks so good and then the rear dude comment down below I think it looks good, especially once this thing's lowered. I'm gonna show you guys mine in just a second, but just so you guys know, the wheels that were on my girlfriend's car that are now back on that car were the original wheels from the car. These wheels were off of my LS400. So yeah, so pretty much we're just putting what used to be on my G35 back onto the G35. Whew. Definitely different, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my girlfriend out here, see if she likes it. If she does, we're gonna turn the car around, do the other side, and then uh, we'll check out the G35. Rear is pretty pokey. It's 10 and a half in the rear. It's poking quite a bit, uh, higher offset than what these wheels are. These are uh, plus 15. Those were plus 22 or something along the lens of that, but it pops out a lot. The front doesn't pop out so much, but We'll show you guys that in just a minute. All right, guys, so Donna's gonna come check it out right now. See her reaction. What do you think? Yeah. Serio? Well, like I said, when you jack your car up, it's gonna have this. Do you want to keep these, or do you want to put them? The other ones. Do you want to keep the other ones? You want to keep them? Now's the time. I haven't done the other side. All right, guys. So she's still deciding. She's unsure um, which one she likes. She likes both, but they're both also very different. One's more sporty. One's very classy looking. I guess you can call these wheels. Um, so in case she decides the 19s, I wanted to air my car out to see how it looks and damn, it doesn't air out all the way, which bums me out. So that's one thing that I'm kind of like, oh, that sucks. But it's tucking rear and it's tucking front as well. Damn, that's like perfect fitment actually. It's gonna be so hard to see for you guys, but let me try to show you. It's really hard to see, but tuck in rear and then tuck in front as well. This is like actually like perfect fitment. Jeez. But there she is, guys. That's how she looks with 19s. Right, so we're gonna sit on it. 
we're gonna see what she decides actually. If she wants these or she wants the 19s. And um, so we're gonna sit on it because it's nighttime as you guys can see. And so she wants to see hers at daytime. Pull it out on the street, get in a better idea. I wanna see how this looks at daytime because uh, I'm rise and shine. <clears throat> All right guys, it's the next morning. Of course, Shane's truck is here. So we'll probably pull the car out some, but uh, I've been really trying to think super hard about what to do because the wheels that I want, the wheels that I'm most likely going to be ordering are 19 by 11 plus 15 square. Um, so that means, uh, they're going to pop out quite a bit with the spacers that I have on now. Uh, I was thinking maybe if they pop out enough, we can maybe run like a really small flare. I don't think they're going to pop out far enough, to be honest with you. Um, I just measured and, uh, actually that wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much like, let me show you guys what I did real quick. Hang on. Okay. So... We have my digital caliper. We have it at 15. It's at 15.3, but just close enough. So 15 millimeter. Okay, so this is a 19 by 10.5 plus 30 offset. <coughs> so correct me if I'm doing this wrong, but because this is the 30 offset and I'm looking to get a 19 by 11 plus 15 offset, that means we take 30 minus 15 which puts us here, right? Which is 15. And then that's how many more millimeters it's gonna pop out, right? So it, it hopefully that makes sense. If that is the case, put this here, eh, roughly about there. That's all it's gonna pop out. So it's gonna come out to maybe here, maybe a little bit more because it's a 0.5 inch wider as well. So comment down below if that makes any sense, but that means flares will not happen. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is probably just, you know, we're gonna get the 19 by 11 plus 15 square. Uh, I want I want 11 all around. Um, I think it's meaty, it's nice, it'll look good. And I like the dish on the 11 as opposed to 9.5. But there she is. So like I said, I'll probably get her pulled out right now. But damn. And she pops out a lot too. Pretty good amount. I think it looks really good. I would like to match the camber from the front or in the rear to the front. But yeah, she looks really good. All right guys, so aired up. That's how it would look. Drive height. That's why I like the 19. That way, uh, you know, you could tuck a little bit of tire and still be relatively, you know, at a good drive height. That looks really good. My question to you is, um, to all of you guys, and I want you guys to comment down below what you think. Uh, when I get the set, I'm thinking of maybe making it a little less of a tight fitment in the rear. The front, I think, is really nice, but a little less in the rear and then a meteor tire but then that will mean the car just won't air out as low it'll still be pretty much on the floor but just not as low what do you guys think of that all right let's go ahead and air her out all right so the rear is not tucking at the moment just because we're on a slam but yeah what do you guys think pretty good so as far as my girlfriend's car goes I'm waiting for her to decide if she wants these wheels that are on there or the 19s back um, <clears throat> and then we'll do the other side because we still both have <laughs> like I have that set she has this set <laughs> so uh, waiting for her to decide because those wheels on my car, either ones that are on my car, doesn't really matter because it's going to be temporary. Um, her car, it's going to be her actual set. So, All right, guys. So my girlfriend decided she wants to go ahead and rock these wheels. So we're going to go ahead and get it pulled in, get the other side off. Once Shane leaves, we'll get my car in the driveway. 
and we'll pretty much just swap them out. Super stoked. Her car's gonna look really good, guys. We still have a rear splitter, wing, front lip kit inside that needs to go back on. And then we're gonna be dropping this thing soon. Thinking about dropping it to about the top of the tire, I think should look good. And then once she gets even more comfortable, as she decides, we'll end up dropping it more. But that'll be within the next probably month, two months-ish, something along the lines of that. This car is gonna look really good. All right, guys, so while we're waiting for Shane to leave, because uh, I have to pull my car in here and get the wheels off. We got the wheels off of here already. Uh, and then I went ahead and made a little eye, eye light for her car just to see how it looks. She likes it. So as you can see, all of this is now blacked out. Okay. This is how it was before. See the chrome right there. So I went ahead and laid my knifeless tape down. I think it's about the same. Pretty close. Yeah, should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and get this side done. This, so this eyelid is done. Just so it looks a little bit more aggressive. And all of this is blacked out. So I'll probably still end up maybe now masking this off. I should have done it before I did this, but um, I want to try to get this all cleaned up the best that I can. Uh, we'll do that another day. So Shane's leaving. Let's get my car pulled up in the driveway. Get the wheels thrown on. There they are, guys. All done. I think her car looks really good. These wheels, those eyelids, too. Makes it look a lot more aggressive. And then um, I do have, like I said over here, I have a rear splitter for her car. We have a front lip right there which has to be painted still then we have her duck bill wing um which we're not going to do black anymore she wants it white so i'm gonna have to repaint this all white and just so you guys know this is the same wing that was on my car um like i said we had to cut it in half though and take about this much out of it fuse it together and all that good stuff but we still have all of that going down with this and then i plan on doing a muffler delete as well so if we come under that this little thing right here we're gonna just delete that and then maybe maybe weld on these one of, one of these tips i think would look pretty cool and then stay tuned because we're gonna be lowering it still and then here's the g so let's go ahead and get her aired out and see how fitment is all around This side i heard like a loud bang i think it just sat into place or something yeah oh god it's tucking like crazy i see so we are gonna have to roll and pull right there and then but all in all she looks good also guys i went ahead right now and just pulled the trigger uh new wheels for the g35 she's gonna be she's gonna be I don't even know. I don't even have words, guys. Paint is going down within the next couple weeks. The wheels will be here uh, beginning of July, so very soon. So stay tuned, guys. If you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe because this car is going to look so different. Paint, wheels, all of it. Uh, just an idea of what we're going to be running. 19 by 11s square plus 15 gonna be pretty pretty aggressive that's for sure all right guys let's go ahead and get her car pulled out Ooh, look at these two lovebirds right here this thing is gonna look so good guys i'm excited but those eyelids make the car look a lot more aggressive that's for sure once that lip is everything everything is back on all the arrow oh yeah it's gonna look really good. Dude. So stoked for this car. Can't wait for it to come back together. All right guys, well that's where I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video off. Both the cars have 
new wheels. Her new, these wheels are gonna be staying on hers for a while. Mine are new temporary wheels until my set comes in, but I actually really like these wheels a lot, to be honest. I think it looks really good. Looks a lot more aggressive. Fills up, fills up the wheel well, tucks, all of it. So let me know what you guys think down below of both cars, the wheels, all of it. And uh, stay tuned, guys. A lot more great content to come. Hope to catch you there. Until next time, as always, peace out.